Hmm. Let's make those two motorized units right now. The motorized core. We'll do one more anti-Japanese sentiment. Right now we're at 15%. We're going to go up to 18 in a moment. Doesn't he like not listen to the Kaiser's government? Yeah. But I mean, who listens to the Kaiser's government? I don't. I don't listen to Kaiser over here in Siberia. I'm just doing my own thing. An anti Kolchak coup. The opposition has started an open revolt against us. The slow generals and soldiers led by Sergei Voitechkovsky have captured the most important neighborhoods are now marching on us. There are those still low time on Kolchak ready to fight these filthy traitors. Did they get overthrown, or you know what? We lose... Temtaku, we lose some sensibility. I'm going to save here, just in case this actually matters. Because again, we don't... As long as we're not uh, a Japanese puppet state, we can still do all the wars in Russia. And defeat the rebels, it's a... We lose shaky rule. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. We get defeat of the coup. Uh, major education reform and all power to the Admiral. Holchak lives! And Japan, I'm hoping, is not going to kill us. Fingers crossed. I don't, I don't know if they can still try to attack us. We'll get more recruit population just because we kind of need it. We got five more infantry units ready to deploy. It would have been nice if we got the Russians of a war because the Russians of a war allows us to kind of put... Um, allows us to maybe demand territory in Russia, in Siberia, but fortunately that's not going to happen this time. I know we can do the same thing when Russia goes to war with Germany. We can also demand some land. Okay, Japan just marching our way through my territory. It'd be nice if you weren't here. And aside from that, I guess we'll just basically just make convoys for the rest of the game. I don't know really what else to do with uh, naval factories for now. I guess we can make some submarines, but... Again, our navy really isn't going to project any amount of power. Like, wh what What can we do? Basically nothing. And you'll be done in a moment. That's what that, again, we'll go for power to the Admiral. Purging the army is not a bad thing for you. You're an extra 6% stability, a little bit more war sport. Do lose some political power. But that's not so bad. Belgium join the Ant. What's happening in this campaign? We're seeing so many unique things. So, uh, Syndicate South Africa, which we basically never see happen. Uh, Belgium join the Entente by themselves. It's a wild ride we got going on here. And we also saw the, uh, the National Populist Coup in White Ruthenia, which I don't believe we've seen, but I guess I think we only played one, um, one campaign in this update, so that's not a huge surprise. So I'm really curious to see what Belgian Entente does. Or, yeah, Entente Belgium. Because the Canadians and the French might end up putting, like, a stupid amount of units in Belgium. It's either that or they die immediately because France just invades. One of the two. Okay, with South Africa, they are slowly falling to uh, all these guys. All paddle to the Admiral. What's your support at? You're at 11%. Okay, send motorized divisions to the front line. We are one over, but that's not so bad. I'm going to actually send one of our infantry to Vladivostok. Change our cavalry to our better infantry. And we should be good. Again, we're really just trying to make sure Vladivostok doesn't fall. Just in case Japan does feel like we become too much of a threat for them. I mean, Japan right now, they're a national populist. So we might, we might see them be a little bit more aggressive than otherwise. And South Africa has unfortunately fallen to the Entente. Socialist powers uh, were not able to maintain their hold in South Africa. And there we go. We got South Africa as uh, 
Yes, New South Africa. This is, um, the South Africa you don't actually get, uh, by default. Because regular Entente aligned, um... Yeah, there's two South Africans that are aligned to the Entente. There's the default, uh, South Africa. And then there's the South African Federation, which is actually different. I mean, it's got this, this other flag, which I think is actually kind of nice. It's like nice emerald green they got going on. But it actually is a completely different focus tree. That I believe regular Entente aligned South Africa does not have access to. I do not know which one is better. I don't know if coup to South Africa or uh, regular South Africa has a better Entente aligned path. If you do, if you do know uh, which one's actually considered better, uh, let me know either in Twitch chat or just in the comments below the YouTube video uh, VOD. Do we have any? Do we have any resources? So that'd be worthwhile. We have the chromium. Eh, I don't think it's really worthwhile then. Uh, let's go for forty-eight days, one seventeen days. We'll go for you first. And then honestly, I think we're gonna go up to free trade. Whenever you play as a country that basically has no natural resources, there's no reason not to do free trade. It's like, oh, we export more of our chromium. Chromium is mostly used for like heavy tanks. And the amount of heavy tanks we're gonna be building this campaign, I have a feeling is quite, quite low. And it's like until we actually annex either Siberia or we annex all of Russia, chances that, you know, these resources coming up is, is quite low. Okay, so we got CSA, American New State, Pacific States, and, and MacArthur. MacArthur, I think, did not choose any of their uh, specific plans. Uh, either defending the West or defending the East, he just does um, kind of like the old default. Which means that he's guaranteed to lose. Okay, but Russian Empire has been restored. Dmitry III, welcome to the throne. I will dethrone you. I am the true Republican vision of, uh, of Russia. And you guys just don't understand this. One day you will learn though. You will learn. Okay, so right now we have 5% support for the Japanese. That's our math of the purge. is lasting until October, but again, like, who... Before October of 1937, who are you going to be at war with as Transmere? The only person you could ever be at war with would be... Um, the only person would be Russia. But the only reason to be at war with Russia is if they go for the Civil War event with the Socialists. And that's a very, very, very specific set of, set of circumstances. So most of the time, something like... Aftermath of the Purge doesn't matter. You wish they kept in the ability to avoid the Civil War? I understand why they did not keep it in. A, an America that does not suffer the Civil War basically just becomes a little bit too overpowered. They can throw the balance off a little bit just by like powering the, uh, usually the Entente way too much. Some in Dutch elections. What, what's everybody else doing around here? I mean, who do you want to win the Civil War? I think the answer, it's actually, it's interesting. Because, okay, Moscow Accord has been formed. I would say that, I don't know if it matters, actually. The CSA, probably the least we want to win. Just because if they join the, um... The Third International, and then the Third International kills Germany before Germany can kill the Russians, then that's bad for us. So, I guess we want to back the Reich's Pact as much as we possibly can. A Reich's Pact victory, or a Entente or Reich's Pact victory in the American Civil War is, is the best case scenario for us personally. Okay, 
Political stabilization is almost done. We can't find modern equipment, I think, under this, uh... Yeah, we need to be pro autocrats. But we also need military reforms, which we cannot do because we don't have new leadership. Okay, education, extra research slot. I mean, it's always nice. Let's get some basic Zaibatsu investors, and if we need to do another um, anti-Japanese sentiment, then so be it. Oh, so yeah, we're not building motorized. So let's start building you guys up. We are missing 128 motorized divisions. It's because you guys are actually... You might have taken attrition, and that's why you're missing some stuff. Maybe PSA in case they join Japan. Well, the thing is, like, we're not really pro-Japan. We, we, we're, 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 we're tolerating... J actually, actually, no. Pacific states cannot join Japan because Japan's got a national populist. So they can't do anything there. Also, of course, they're not researching anything there. Um, Japan... Or PSA can only join Japan if... Um... Let's get closer to support. Japan can and PSA can only align themselves if Japan is democratic and does not have Hawaii in their faction. Also, that was a very quick Austrian war. Definitely one of the faster ones we've seen recently. Because Japan is national populist and because Hawaii is in the Japanese sphere of influence, uh, they will not join. I think we'll definitely do a, a campaign where we play as. Where, where we play as um, the Pacific states, where we do join up with the Japanese, just because I think it'd be interesting. And I've never, I've never seen the AI do it, and I, it's basically I think impossible for the AI to actually do it as well. I think it's, it has a massive modifier where the, the AI will never take the alliance with Japan if they can align themselves with Canada. Also, Ukraine has gone socialist, uh, which is bad. Ukraine or er, Poland is liberal. Which means so, uh, they might have end up joining with the, with the Russians. I'm not too too sure quite yet. Yeah, we don't need another anti-Japanese rally at the moment. Okay, we're pushing away Ruthenia. Well, we kind of need Ukraine to not. I mean, the fact that Ukraine becoming syndicalist is such a pain in the ass. Because again, we need a strong Reichspact. And Ukraine being syndicalist does not benefit us. Unless, of course, Russia and the international go to war. That could be beneficial. People stand land attrition by 10%. Entrenchment, more defense. Honestly, just give me that extra attack. I love the extra attack. Basically, all the time. What do we need to research? Um, could go for the 1939 rifle. It's a little bit expensive. You know, actually, let's go for research speed. We're only like three months ahead of time on that, so it's not so, so bad. We're now currently at 8%. We're going to jump up to 7 plus 8 is uh, 15%. Once you're done and uh, this is where our masters is finished as well. Also, Ching and the Fennec government are already at war with each other. In 37, it's actually a really fast war. Xiaodong is fighting, um, fighting left KMT. Unan clique's not really doing anything. We'll see if Japan gets involved, but I mean, like 1937 is really early for them to go to war. That's at least my, uh, my thoughts here. Also, cancel all this garbage. Build more factories, please, so we can actually deploy more units. Okay, Don Cuban Union's falling apart. Ukraine's getting pushed in by Germany. CNT is doing okay, and actually they'll probably actually end up winning. Is this Russia also going to attack Georgia and Azerbaijan? What's your plan, Russia? Okay, 
by Japanese instructors. Let's go for one um, technology slot. Usually pretty good. Like, I would like to deploy these units, but 7 out of 6. It's just a little too risky for us. Okay, my cleave's kind of falling apart. Are you worth anybody else? No, it's, it's just the Ching. 17 out of 66, 8 out of 50. I think you guys should have pretty, um, pretty bad, uh, pretty bad modifiers, because you should have your, um, unprofessionalism penalty. I would, I would think so at this point, because again, it's only 1937. They might have, like, one or two of the reforms done in, in China, but it just doesn't seem likely. Like, he has fallen. Ukraine is almost dead. Which, again, is good for us. Because uh, it, it's better than them being socialist, but it's bad for us. Because we, um... Because it kind of resets the entirety of Ukraine's army. They get set down to zero divisions, which is bad. Those are all things we do not like. Super Cook's factory is minus 5%. We could take both of these. We can get this Saibatsu's concession. And then at the same time support anti-Japanese rallies. But right now we're at 12%. Denver's fallen, which actually might... And no, they still got Washington. So they're still going to be in the fight for a little bit longer. Go for 38 rifles. CNT is now actually going to fight Carlos Spain. Again, we want the Carlos to win, but it, it, it seems unlikely. Unless Germany and the rest of the... Actually, Germany can't send allies because they are at war. Russia is now invading everybody in Central Asia. Sevastopol might be the last that he need. I mean, they got Kharkov as well, but I think Sevastopol is a little bit more important. Let's get both of these got uh, done. Yeah, we just don't want to be cued. It might be too late. But I'm also not too sure. I, I honestly would not be surprised if they can still actually end up killing us at some point. Where are we importing from? We're importing from Japan. Import from the Fenny government. Of course, you don't like us because of the embargo. Probably because you don't think that we're a real country, which, I mean, you know, fair enough. More stability, more war support. I mean, our war support's actually looking fantastic. Okay, extra military factory there. There's a plus 5% attack and defense for all... Or 5% yeah, attack and defense for all units. Pretty good. Navy is basically hot garbage. Some free air bases, okay. Get one free paratrooper division. But I don't know if that's going to mean too much. How many airplanes do we have? We have 50. Please fly them to the closer air base. We got 25 bombers, 25 fighters. I mean, we probably want to start building more if we can. But how many, how many um, rifles do we have? We have 10,000 rifles in, in uh, storage. Okay, we probably don't need this many. Let's get fighters and let's get some interwar bombers going. Because we're now probably missing aluminum. We're probably missing a lot of stuff, honestly. And the rifles is pretty good. We look at resources. Ostrong, you've already federalized? That's really good. You guys are doing this very fast. Like, everybody's on, like, a speed run this campaign. I'm not too sure why. I got 111 on all of you. Might as well go for a better level of tactical bombers. 
Anyway, you know, resources. That's what I want to look at. Get a little bit less steel. You have two... We don't need neighbor. Let's just trade with France. It doesn't really matter. Get some supplies there. Their bonus of tanks. Again, the thing kind of is, like, how could we possibly... With the economy of Transmere afford to build tanks. Like, if we had some of Siberia, maybe. Maybe we can build some stuff here. That's really about it. Okay, did Panama win the war? Yes, they did. They managed to kick out the Canadians. We're very proud of them for that. Somehow MacArthur is still in this. Pacific States is still doing all right. And I feel like this war is becoming a little bit of a stalemate. I guess we could actually send a, a boat over there. See what it dropped to. They actually got their uh, units cut off here. And now there's actually a lot of units that got trapped. At least, um, at least three divisions. Actually, there's more, because apparently they have military access to you. Are you- you're actually pro fending government. Huh. Okay. We'll see if maybe you, you kill the left KMT, you actually join a faction together. Again, CNT is going to win their war here. The Nubian Federation, I think, is actually good for us. But we need to make sure they actually join up with the Reich's Pact. Okay, we now got the Ukrainian state underneath uh, the Germans here. Colin's been outed of office. Richard McCauley is now in charge of Ireland. We need more anti-Japanese support? Probably. Probably want a little bit more anti-Japanese support here. Yeah, it's already 38. I would say we're making pretty good time, all things considered. Okay, now with the tanks here. Closer to Fenian. That is 100,000 manpower. You know what? Let's do it. We could use 100k of manpower in a northern expedition. I don't think that's going to get us any more territory, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it did, but... I don't think it's going to really work out that way. Like Kiva, Lash Orda, Turkestan Republic, Bukhara. They're all basically dead. I think it would make sense for all these guys to actually join into a one big faction together. Like the anti-Russian anti faction or um, the Central Asian Defense League. Something. It would make sense. Because otherwise they're just all sitting ducks. I think Warrior Thinny actually got a territory uh, little chunk out of uh, Ukraine. Good for them. Okay, yeah, we got some political power as well. Let's utilize you on... Don't control you. All the good industry are actually we don't have access to. Uh, very sad. Infantry manufacturers? No. We have the default one. Well, I want to spend 150 political power on the default upgrade. Honestly, yeah. If we don't have any other ones. And I don't really see what else we can spend our political power on right away. It makes enough sense to me. And if any government did get cleaned up back here. Left KMT is going to be falling very, very soon. And we'll see if the Shadow Clique, if they just join up with Defending Garment. It would make sense if they did. Because again, they are, you know, pro Japan. They're pro Fanning Garment. Collapsed Japanese collaboration. They're controlling the drug trade. We can see Japan have a really good campaign here. Which is actually, it's a little worrying, because again, a strong Japan, 
is not in our interest, really? Okay, so Argentina is going to be falling to Chile and to Argentina. Or into the... Uh, what are you guys called again? Yeah, the Patagonian Workers Front. Okay, thank you for support weapons. I do think the left canteen might need to get down to 0% uh, provinces first. Kiva's now fallen. Bukhara, Turkestan. Like, I'm sorry, but you guys have no chance of, of making it through this one. I, I wish things could be different. Actually, are we limited by factories or do you think we're limited by population? What's actually affecting our modifiers here? Artualization. Base from own state, base from total population, we have 3% base. Industrial modifier is 170%. 20% modifier for partial mobilization. We do want either more factories or more states, I think. Or I guess more population as well. But their population right now is only 113,000. It's pretty bad. As you know, we 1.17 million people live in, in, in our country. Definitely less bad there. Same ruler, political power gain. Eh, go for an oil expedition. Give me the 100,000 manpower. We can start building up more units as well. Might as well crank this out. Get more units at least training first. And so they're all ready to go. Once the war breaks out. And we can invade our way straight into the Russian Siberia. Then we'll be looking pretty golden. We got a little my clique. Doing the best that they can to survive, but I don't think it's going to be enough for them. When are you going to absorb Hungary? Because right now, Hungary does kind of exist. CNT is going to be winning their war in mere moments. Carlos Spain is going to lose their colonies to CNT. But I think the colonies do just get annexed by neighbors. If I'm not mistaken. Puerto Rico to their independence. Congratulations to them. I'm trying to think. Do you think there's any reason to play a, a Puerto Rican campaign? I have no idea if a poor if Puerto Rico would be something that anybody would be interested in actually watching. I have no idea how much content is actually in there. By the way, I'm looking at this. I was waiting for 90 days. I thought it was actually just a flat negative 5%. Getting two of them, I don't think it's actually really worthwhile then. Doing it again? We don't need more Zaibatsus. Get them out of here. This is really an 800 airplane uh, airport. That's actually really good. Way better than it has any actual right to be. Yeah, let's follow you with 1940 weapons. Follow you with uh, basic land doctrine. I guess it goes superior firepower. Um, does I think that kind of makes the most amount of sense for what we have. At least that's my two cents. Upgrade your tactical bomber. Still need a lot of resources, but we do not really have. Okay, there we go. 100,000 free manpower. You love to see it. Let's go for the Supreme Ruler. 35 days. Cold Shack. There we go. We actually got our manpower all filled up. We still have 94,000 men to spare, which is more than we had at the beginning of our uh, entire campaign. Okay, League of East Chinese Provinces has formed. Kaiser and Hind. And still pro Japanese. We got revived collaboration. Will you join up with the Fending government and declare war on the Qing? Because I don't think the Qing at all would be able to fight that. United Provinces of China. So that is 